What is the difference between a decent rider, aka me, and a professional who was a 923 rider and just turned professional, Will Barter, as we can see, in a beautiful time trial position. So anyway, there was this unprecedented data release of how you actually get to be an under 20, from an under 23 rider to a World Tour Pro. And obviously, this interests me a lot. So anyway, he's raced a lot. I have not raced a lot. Uh, he raced as a junior. I didn't really race as a junior. I think I did like three crits or something useless. Um, but anyway, we basically get to see what it requires. So top 10 result on a summit finish in, you know, decent under 23 race, aka Tour 11 here. Rider must be able to produce at minimum 20 minutes at 5.5 to 5.8 watts, watts per kilo after 3,000 kilojoules of work. So that's, you know, saying basically how many calories you're going to burn before. Uh, four hours at four watts per kilo, less than 5% heart rate drift. Heart rate drift is basically a way of measuring how much more tired. So let's say if you ride for an hour, your heart rate at the beginning and at the end, uh, like zone two, will probably be more enough the same. So let's say you start 130 for 200 watts. At the end of that hour, you're going to be, you know, maybe 131. But... Normally, after four hours, your heart rate drift is quite a lot. And obviously, at four watts per kilo, you know, that needs to be low zone two so that basically you can you can ride at that pace and it's not tiring at all. You know, that's basically what it's trying to say. It's trying to say you need to do 300 hours here, which is pretty simple. And then they must just be able to do the peak power values over two and a half thousand kilojoules. So that, again, that's pretty tough. So you can see here there's slightly different things, but it's basically saying that you know, you need to be able to do this power after 3,000 kilojoules, but but you need to be able to do, you know, almost your threshold. Obviously, 5.8 watts per kilo to 5.5 is not their threshold. Their threshold is, you know, 6 plus. So that's that's what it's trying to say. So we'll keep scrolling down and how his training is doing, a bit of polarized training and all the good stuff, which you can read the article. It's unbelievable. But we'll just look. So Will Barter is two years ahead of me, I believe. Pretty sure. Um, Will Barter's age here, he was born in 96, right, I'm born in 98, so two years ahead of me. So, I'm turning 21 this year, which is pretty old. So anyway, we can see some irrelevant data about sprints, both of our sprints, surprisingly not bad. He, uh, his, obviously, is better than mine. He weighs about 58, 59 kilos, um, and I weigh about 61 kilos um, when I'm, you know, comfortable and not, like, actually dieting. I think there's no point saying I could weigh 59. It's like, yeah, I could, but then I can't probably perform very well. So, my best powers have come at 61 kilos. So anyway, 30, 30 seconds, I've done any this. So we'll keep scrolling down. Um, you know, it's like 5.17 for two minutes. Again, it's pretty solid. I've done like 4.80 4 for three or something. So for two minutes, I could probably have managed close to 500. And his five minute power is significantly better than mine all across the board. I've hit maximum 400. Uh, his 20 minute power, I beat him in 2016, um, but haven't come close to him so 2016 he would have been my age now right so that's basically what we're looking at so this year i did beat his 20 minute power his hour power i've never done an hour full gas i just don't know a four hour power again i bet that was horrendous we could look here four hour powers probably like two two twelve but i've never gone for it or you know been in a four hour race i've only done a three hour race and then 20 minutes at two and a half thousand kilojoules i'm i've tried to find this but i just can't find any data i don't think i've really done a proper 20 minute test for over this but i would imagine it would be horrendous and um, five minutes at two and a half thousand kilojoules i would also imagine would be quite bad total hours in november and february i tried to bring this up was about you need to average about 17 hours a week and i averaged about 11 hours a week but you can see i have huge oscillations because this was basically my off season then january did really good but then i was away here didn't ride so you can see and then i had two weeks off where i basically killed myself because i went out too much and overtrained. obviously he's will barter so he's not going out to the lizard lounge etc etc but you can still see that you know 15 hour weeks is okay but he's doing that's 20 hour week for me oh no so that's planned duration i actually did 16 that week i did eight that week because my bike exploded or something and 16 hours that week so to average 17 hours a week wouldn't be that hard to be fair i could do that um, at uni uh and then you can see race days obviously i probably do more race days than him because um i don't race big races like crits don't really count as a proper race day so you can see that from there I'll show you, sorry, this is my best 20 minute power, I believe, um, yes, this, sorry, this is my best 20 minute power here, um, which was 350 watts, which is like 5.7 watts per kilo or something, obviously my power meter might overread and might underread, no one potentially knows, but, you know, it's probably a bit optimistic, uh, so that's 350 watts for 20 minutes, so obviously, like, that does beat what he did, but then obviously, I think that was, you know, he's dead 323 out of the tour of the Bose, 
Unfortunately, I wasn't quite racing that. I was doing that up Cheddar Gorge on a training ride. Um, but anyway, you know, c'est la vie. So we keep scrolling down, time trialing. I'm horrendous at time trialing. He definitely beats me time trialing. So he did five and a half watts per kilo um, at the time. So here, obviously he weighs a little less. So 340 um, would be a equivalent. So, you know, similar 20 minute power. Maybe it's slightly, slightly worse, but you know, not too crazy. So he did five and a half watts per kilo. There's no way I could do like 336 tired. That would be like... Nah, it's not going to happen. Um, I can show you what... Actually, no, I'll show you that later because we, we've got to keep going, got to keep going. Scroll down, scroll down. He moved to Nice. Well, I reckon Bristol is better than Nice, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll allow it. Uh, Bristol, we love Bristol. It doesn't have any 20 meter climbs, really, but, you know, and no roads to do time trialing. But apart from that, it's perfect. We love it, we love it. And it rains the whole time. But, you know, that's that's okay, that's okay. So we keep see, we keep scrolling down. Will Barter keeps talking about stuff. And um, we can see some race days, obviously, Comparing himself to other guys, R.I.P. Bjorg Lambrecht, absolute legend, and I love the man so much. Um, so you can see Tour Lavenir, obviously, first was Bernal, Sivakov, Will Bart had a shocker. Well, I mean, shocker, he still came 48th, but compared to, you know, what he was going to achieve the following years. He also discovered that he is very good at 5 to 15 minute power. We saw above that, you know, that seemed good, while half an hour to 40 minute power seemed not as good. So he was doing this. So this is... Very interesting. So this is his data, which, you know, I wouldn't say got him to World Tour. Like when I did analyze James Knox's power before he went World Tour, he did like 380 watts for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I think it was, up Rocker Corp or one of those climbs in Girona, just six and a half watts per kilo. So this is the important climb. So this is basically 320 minute intervals at 340 watts. Okay. So first one, 351 watts. This is sort of like you know, 90% sweet spot sort of stuff. So first 20 minute interval, 350 watts, solid. Second 20 minute interval, 323 watts, not as solid. But they have to average over 343, um, which is, I got a bit confused. Anyway, then he keeps riding, keeps riding, keeps riding. 3,000 kilojoule marks. So as we saw, um, as we saw yesterday in Pogacar's video, 3,000 kilojoules is a big effort, as I said. Um, and then 356 watts. And that is bonkers. That is, you know, if we, we can lob in the numbers, 356 divided by 59 and we're getting close to six watts per kilo maybe a little bit over six yeah so six watts per kilo after 3000 kilojoules and that is different level i know people who can do six watts per kilo um for 20 minutes but like not after not after two and a half thousand kilojoules that is bonkers um keeps scrolling down and you got some results and you sign for world tour so that was pretty much it like that's pretty solid isn't it but again, we'll, we'll just go back to this one here. And it's crazy what he does here in this year. So my training would be for 2017 would be like this. So I would want to, my goal would be this. But obviously, unfortunately, I will not be racing any 20 minute climbs next year. So there's no point training like Will Barter, which I know you're probably very disappointed about as my viewers, as my loyal viewers that I will not be training like an under 23 Neo Pro. I well, want to be Neo Pro for probably a lot of reasons. Number one, I am actually at university, I'm not a full-time rider. You may think I am, but I'm not. Uh, number two, my racing is not like this at all. And number three, probably gonna be a waste of time anyway, because I'm actually gonna go pro, so what's the point? So anyway, you can see my, this is like five hour ride. It was at the end of a hard block, a hard block of training for sure. But you can see this is like my tempo, 294 watts for 20 minutes. Like, wow, mate, bloody hell, those are some good numbers. Uh, so like 290 watts is what, like 4.7 watts per kilo, 4.8 watts per kilo for me, something around that. So again, he's doing like five and a half watts per kilo on his tempo. Obviously, he's two years down the line and all the rest of it. But even so, um, we can see then this is another 21 minutes at, uh, what? Oh, 290 watts. So again, similar. And then I'm like, oh, I'll do my last interval. And I was just like cracked halfway up. And this is only like 288 watts. But we can see the kilojoules before that one was two and a half thousand kilojoules. So if I was going to be, I'd then, after these two efforts, I would then have to hit like 345 watts or something. Like close to, because remember what he said. He said here, as we scroll up, that... After two and a half thousand kilojoules, you must be able to do threshold really close. And if we look what he did in, sorry, his ride. Oh, this is so annoying to find. It's a bit, oh, where is it? Sorry. Oh, here we go. He did 356 watts. And that 
was pretty impressive. So if we see 356 watts, obviously he did better, he did 367, but in training he did 356. So, you know, you can see that's close to his max ever, which is only 367. So he did his best, best power ever in a race after 2,500 kilojoules, and that is mad. So I can't do that, as you can see very clearly in this data here. Um, obviously, I will show you the backdrop because that was that was a hard week. I was like twenty something hours a week before, and week before was like twenty hours or something mad. I don't know it's going wrong way. Yeah, that was like a twenty hour week, which for me, you know, a decent sized week. Um, so yeah, that, that's sort of the differences between myself who I would class as a decent rider. I'm not going to say I'm bad because that's probably a bit bit harsh on myself, but I'm not not great um, at the moment because a British I can be annoying. I'm still going to be a Cat 3 next year, which is pretty funny. Um, but next year, hopefully, we'll get up to Cat 2. Well, I mean, this year, I'm like four points off, but they won't move me up because, obviously, I got injured and can race at the moment. But you can see some of the powers like that I have. Like, my best five-minute power is, like, 400. He's, like, 420. My best 10-minute power, 355. My best eight-minute power is a little bit higher, like, 390 or something. So it's all right. 20-minute power is 350. Half an hour is, like, 320. And 45 minutes is, like, 290. Like, three-hour power is, again, horrendous because it's in a race and it's not in a hard race. Um, I never know if these four-hour powers are, like, normalized or not, but I don't know. We'll see. So, anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this little video about why Will Barter is riding for CCC and why, in, well, it'll only be, like, two years now. I will not be riding for any World Tour team. And this is the reason why. But instead, I'm going to be training on short, steep climbs because that is what we have in the UK and that, yeah, I'm going to be hitting the gym hard, make some huge gains there. And it's going to be um, a good season for sure, even though at this current moment, my left leg is literally half as strong as my right. But we'll get that. Anyway, cheers for watching, and I will see you in the next one.